All right. So as y'all see, we are 12 hours into the three-day fast. <clears throat> this is something that I do twice a year. I do it in the middle of the year, and then I do it again at the end or the beginning of the year. It just depends on how it falls. Um, but yeah, this is mid-year, obviously. It's coming up on June, right in the middle of the year. I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of details and stuff like that about you know the benefits of fasting because if you click this video you probably know a little bit about fasting already or you're interested in it i'll put some i'll leave some links in some videos either in the description or the comments i haven't decided which one i'm gonna put it in yet but i'm gonna leave a few videos in there so y'all can check those out <clears throat> but um right now i mean i'm a little hungry but at the same time i'm not i think the only reason i'm a little hungry right now is because of this is usually the time when i start eating like around like 12, or usually when I have like my first like big meal or whatever, is around this time. But I'm pretty good, man. Like this shit gets so easy. Like the more you do it and the more you, uh, it's like it gets to the point where like I start to not even really want to eat or I, I kind of like lose interest in food or it's like it, it's not as, like I don't get as hungry anymore like usually when it gets to be around this time because i've been doing it at the same time of year for like the past five years now like i've been doing this so it's kind of interesting the way it works like it's almost like your body gets used to it and kind of lets you know when you need to do it and i'm definitely at that time so i'm like man you know what let me go ahead and just knock this out real quick i was actually already taking some time off uh from the gym i took a i took a week off so I took all of last week off, and then I'm like, damn. I was like, I might as well just knock the fast out. Like, the week off and then the fast. And then I can just get back into the gym Thursday, which is the same day that I'm ending the fast, and then just hit the ground running. Because I can't wait to get back in the gym, dog. <laughs> I've been out the game. Taking a week off from the gym is something that I like to do because it's really good for my body. But it also builds back my enthusiasm toward the gym you know what i'm saying and it's kind of the same thing with fasting like like i was saying how i was kind of losing interest in food and like it just wasn't really as enjoyable but it's all kind of ties in together at least the way that i look at it it's all gonna tie back into me getting back into the gym getting back into basically eating you know what i'm saying and just setting me up for success honestly so i can come back you know bigger and stronger because i've noticed that one thing about when I do my fast, it, it really helps me like push to another level. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, it, it helps me get through those like plateaus and stuff like that. And knowing what I know about fasting and doing the research and stuff like that, and just what it does for your hormones and whatnot, it makes perfect sense why I tend to get that effect when I fast for a little while and then I get back in the gym and it's like, it's like I'm starting all over again. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's just really, really good for your hormones because you, you just become more sensitive, um, like your hormones, I think you become more sensitive to your hormones. So you like, it's almost like you're not necessarily like a beginner, but it's like the closest you can get to being a beginner, if that makes sense. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got right now. But uh, I'm supposed to be going on a trail later today. So I'll probably record some of that, let y'all know how I'm feeling. So uh as of now, we 12 hours in to the fast, and we're feeling good, man. Also, this is one of the few things that I will actually be consuming while I'm fasting. This is uh, black water. It's got uh, electrolytes, trace minerals, and um, fulvic minerals. And really, you need to stay on top of your minerals and your electrolytes because that's usually what makes you feel like shit when you're fasting because you don't stay on top of these things. And if you're sweating or if you're, um, like if you're peeing and stuff like that, all your electrolytes are coming out you need your electrolytes are important in general but they're really important when you're fasting because that's really all you got to run on because you're not eating food all right back home now <laughs> i didn't record at the uh trail i was just too caught up you know having a conversation with my lady I hadn't seen her in like i think it's been like two weeks since i last seen her so I'm just caught up talking you know and um I didn't really have the opportunity to film, but back at home now, 
Um, getting a little bit of uh, writing done at the moment. Basically, it's this idea that I had a long time ago and it kind of just popped back up in my head. So I'm like, let me go ahead and kind of get back to it, you know, see see if the juices are flowing in that direction. I mean, they are right now. So I'm going to just play around with this and then see uh, see if it actually becomes something or if it's not something that I like, if it's something that's going to kind of fizzle out. So we'll see. But I will say that when you're fasting, it's a really good time to get some stuff done. You know what I'm saying? Because it's realistically, you're not getting that dopamine from the food. You know, and a, people, a lot of people don't really realize how much dopamine they get when they eat, you know, but when you remove that, you got to get your dopamine elsewhere. You know, like I got a TV on over here, you know, I was playing a little bit of video games earlier before I left, but it's a really good time to uh, just get some stuff done you know, and just really be productive. All right, man, as y'all just saw, we are 41 hours into this bitch. And I'm going to let you know right now. I'm on break right now, actually. But I'm going to let you know right now, last night and this morning, we both was feeling like shit. S-H-I-T. Fucking shit, bro. I had a damn headache. Felt like I was about to goddamn fucking throw up. But we good now. That's why I ain't recording nothing this morning. Or anything else last night. Hell no. Nah. That shit, that, that, that was not it. No human being should ever feel like that. But, we good now. If I can get this fucking water open. Shit. And then I spilled it. It's like some, ooh, that tastes kind of good. Some hydrogen infused water. I don't know if y'all can read that. I don't know if I, if I got it flipped or not. But anyway, it don't matter. Ah, feeling pretty good now, man. Feeling feeling pretty great actually. Um, I think what it was is my electrolytes were probably, um. Really low. That's just my guess. Because, like, I went on a hike earlier that day, and I was out there sweating and stuff. And I had, you know what I'm saying, some lemon and some salt and some water and whatnot. And I guess that just wasn't enough. Because I was feeling bad this morning. But we straight now, man. We good. And honestly, that mental clarity is really starting to set in right now, man. It's, it's I'm just... Worried about what's in front of me right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not like, oh, I can't wait to eat and all that. Like, because I'm going to be honest with you, like, I've done these fasts multiple times. And it's not no, it's not so much about eating food again. It's just like, because it's not like that first bite of food is not as enjoyable as you would think it would be. Now, I'm not saying it ain't good, but it's just not as enjoyable as you think it would be. Um, it happens to me every time. To be honest, what I'm the most excited about is getting back in the fucking gym and moving these fucking weights. That's what I'm excited about. I'm I'm ready to get back in there. I'm ready to hit the ground fucking running, bro. Like, that's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm looking forward to. That's what I want to do. But honestly, bro, this shit is really just mind over matter, man. It's, it's Just think about, like, if you ever thinking about doing a prolonged fast, One thing you got to do is remind yourself that I've been alive for how many days? So just for one, two, or three days, I'm just not going to eat. It's far from the end of the world. If anything, it's much more beneficial to you than you would ever think. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people think that, oh, you know, they wouldn't be able to do this. They wouldn't be able to do that or whatever. And it's like, bro, if you keep thinking like that, yeah, you'll never fucking do it. You'll never do it. And you won't experience the benefits that come with fasting physically, mentally, spiritually. You'll never get them. You'll never, you'll never know that feeling. You'll never um, be able to be like, I did that. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I, cause even like this morning, I was feeling bad, bro. And I was thinking to myself, bro, this is just a feeling. It's gonna pass. You've done this shit plenty of times. You straight. And like I knew what was gonna happen, I'm good now. I'm straight. I'm perfectly fine. Like, it's a fucking cakewalk, bro. I'm, I'm, I think I'm almost at the halfway mark. I don't know what 72 divided by two is off the top of my head. I don't feel like fucking thinking about it. But in my head, we at the halfway mark. Like, really, the hardest part to me is going to be tonight, depending on how I sleep. But, like, once I'm up and I'm at work, you know what I'm saying? We got the delivery tomorrow, so I'm going to be busy all fucking day. And I'm going to just lock in, get it done, go home, wait till 12 o'clock to roll around. Get me some bone broth. I got to go get some, actually. I might do that today. I'm glad I brought that up. I might stop and get that today instead of doing it tomorrow. But um, that'll be that. And then we hit the ground running Thursday. Back in the fucking gym, bro. Probably going to record that, too. But, uh, yeah, bro, it, it's, it's, it's not that hard, man. This pouch is weird, but the water tastes good. Um, It's really just about the way that you look at it, bro. Like, one thing that I've noticed, especially this time around, is that it makes me really, really more present. Like, I'm just worried about what's going on in front of me, like I was talking about earlier. You know what I'm saying? I'm just more worried about that. I'm more, I'm more like, that's it. Like, anything else is like, ah. Uh, It'll get there. Like, when it happens, it happens. Like, you know, it don't really matter that much. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> yes, sir. We got the bra on deck. We're going to break the fast with this. And watch when I pour this out. You're going to be like, is he actually going to drink that shit? Yes, I am. All right, man. As y'all see. 46 hours into this thing right now. Um, feeling pretty good, man. I'm killing it. <laughs> I'm just uh, chilling right now. Watching some YouTube. About to get on my computer for a little bit. Uh, I got some more of that water I was drinking earlier. And I also got something to help me sleep from work. So hopefully that works. I'm pretty sure it will. And uh, yeah, man. <laughs> We we almost there. Day three is upon us. So as you can see, we are fifty eight hours into this thing, and I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all right now. I'm feeling amazing. <laughs> this is actually the first time I ever felt like I could go longer. Like I feel like I can go for another day. I'm not going to because I really want to go to the gym tomorrow. But I genuinely feel like I can go another day, bro. Like, I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? I've been up since, like, 6. I went back to sleep, got up around, like, 8 or whatever. This is weird thing going on right here because my front – I'm using my front cam because I left my tripod at the house. And this shit is cracked right here. That's why this. That's why you see all this weird stuff right here. But, um, yeah, man, I'm feeling good, dude. Like, and I really think that it's – it's got to be something with this water right here, bro. I'm going to knock this down before I go in, and I'm probably going to knock another one down because today's my longest shift. I work 11 to 8 today, and we got a big delivery today. I don't know if it's there or not, but I'm going to figure it out when I get there. But regardless, it don't fucking matter because that shit going to get done. Um, But, yeah, man, this uh, I've been feeling good pretty much since I recorded last night. Not last night, Um, after work or when I was on my break yesterday. Like, I've been feeling like that. This whole time, you know what I'm saying, and and, and it's it's. I'm gonna be honest with you. I I kind of, <clears throat> I kind of don't want it to end. <laughs> like I kind of don't want this feeling to go away, but it kind of it really doesn't go away. Like I feel like this for the most part when I'm eating too. It's just I don't know. It's just different when you're fasting, but I feel like fucking perfect right now, bro. Like for real. <laughs> I feel like the the little bit of discomfort in the fast. I feel like that's kind of normal. But once you get past it, bro, like, I don't know, man. I just feel like that guy. And I always kind of feel like that guy to a degree. But, like, right now, it's like, 
Like I had, I had so many video ideas, you know what I'm saying? And other ideas that I wrote down, man, like I'm just, I'm just feeling good, man. So we creep it up on the 60 hour mark and uh, yeah, that's where we at right now. Cookies. No ventilation hose, terminating on this novocaine, I'm in it. Just search it for the one we in the matrix. Words from the sea, flee, ran up, no, no, Larry D. I'm in a bus, never gave a fuck about the picture. That's muscle arms, muscle arms, slipping up with bacon, so the guy never let my enemies face between. All right, man, we back on break again. Um, Wanted to talk about something that's that was on my mind earlier today. I'm trying to remember it. <laughs> um, but it's basically like the idea of, like I'm thinking about, you know, when 12 o'clock hits, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, like I'm looking forward to it. But at the same time, like it's not as far away as I think it is. Like it's actually, like what I'm getting at is once it gets to 12 o'clock, like what I'm talking about right now, what I'm doing, me documenting this whole process, it's all going to be a memory. It's all going to be like in the past. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I don't know. It's just kind of crazy to think about, you know, stuff like that. Like, especially when you're, when you more present and I'm honestly, I feel like I'm the most present now that I've ever been in my entire life. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I don't know. I'm just thinking about that. It's like, like once it hits twelve o'clock and I'm breaking my fast or whatever, it's like all this shit is gonna be behind me and it's gonna be like it's almost like it never even happened. <laughs> I don't know, man. And there it is, my man. This is the next day. Um, obviously, I didn't show me eating my food because that's weird. <laughs> Pretty sure I didn't want to see that. But, uh, yeah, I just pulled up at the gym. We about to get this uh, this fresh workout in. First time in a long time. But uh, if you made it this far in the video, man, I appreciate that. This is for sure the longest video I've ever made. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know exactly how long it is. I haven't finished editing it and all that shit yet. But... Like I said, man, appreciate y'all watching all the way to the end, man. And, um, yeah, catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all take it easy. Peace.